Alan and Floyd, I've been working on this helmet. Um, we call it Luma Helmet, and you'll see in a second why. Um, we asked ourselves the question, uh, what could a helmet do for you apart from protecting you from injury? Uh, because there's this nice, beautiful surface that we have right here, um, but it's not doing anything, it's just being there in case we fall on our heads. So we figured maybe we can actually turn it into a display and actually use it to communicate information to other people on the street or people that we are exercising with or in other applications, maybe people who we're working with. So I'll show you one example that we've been building. Um, imagine that I'm cycling on the road and all of a sudden I want to turn left but I can lift up my arm and stretch it out and hope somebody will actually notice that in the dark or I can just tilt my head and then I think yeah. it's blinking, yeah, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can indicate where I'm going. I can also do it the other way around. Or maybe if I'm braking, I can actually do like this. So that people know what I'm doing on the street um, much more clearly than when I, when I would be just trying to use my hands while I'm doing that. Um, but it's not just for cyclists. We're actually, we want to talk with different user groups and uh, ask skaters what they would want to do with it. If we could turn their movements into color patterns on their head. Or if you're rock climbing and you're high up in the air and there's wind and they can't hear you, well, you don't have to shout down, but you can actually signal them with your helmet. Mm -hmm. Basically, we want to turn this thing into an opportunity for more than just uh, safety, but use it as a way to, for communication, for play, for expression. Um, that's basically it. At the moment, we're, 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 we've just developed the helmet and we're about to, uh, to tell people uh, or to talk with people about okay. it and see what they want to do with it. So I can actually show you this is, this is what it looks like underneath. It's a little sensor there that can measure the front of my head. And um, yeah, that's about it. Dynamic art. Dynamic art, yes. You could actually